Kana Indica, agroplants.org, also known as Kana Edilus. Uh, so this Abascus Gelfit, uh, it's perennial evergreen, very very strong plant, used for the ornamental, uh, can be edge, water plant, uh, even as a cut flower, the flowers are quite beautiful. And it uh, can grow in the shallow water, not uh, deep water. And it's also drought tolerant. So we are talking about really, really strong plant. If you would like to grow it, there is a link below and in the right top side. And this is donation for our channel. Just purchase it and we get the fees. Except this, don't forget to subscribe. So the climate that this plant can grow, it's actually most of the place. Mediterranean, desert, subtropical, temperate and tropical climate. Also, you can grow it as a house plant. Uh, might be problem with the blooming, but there is solution for this. And hardiness zone will be from nine plus. Uh, the leaves color uh, can be green, green with purple, green with yellow, green with white, or just purple. Uh, so if you want to grow it for the leaves, uh, this is how you can get something beautiful all the year and not just wait for the flowers. Uh, it's possible and it's. Uh, I think it's better but there is variety of beautiful beautiful flowers uh, it can be a variety of colors uh, red yellow pink orange white uh, and much more than one color it can be with spots dot uh, quite of beautiful you can check in the website there is a lot of uh, picture of this plant that I grow over there I change every few years uh, because I want a new color I don't know I just like to change so Let's say that there isn't special requirement how to grow it, but it's prefer moist and rich soil. Also can grow without it. You can start by seeds, uh, tubers or plant. Uh, if you want specific uh, color, you should start with uh, or tuber or plant seeds. You cannot ensure what you get. And it's quite of aggressive plant, so don't plant it next to other plant. And if you grow it uh, as edge plant, uh, you should uh, just uh, contain the growth that it won't grow into the garden just to grow as an edge for your garden. Uh, if you grow it also as edge plant, you should choose the right uh, cultivar and or variety that will be, let's say, higher than the usual because it can be like half a meter. It's a size can be from, uh, let's say, 80 centimeter to 2.5 meter so it's been 32 to 100 inch so if you want as an edge plant uh, you actually should choose something that will be higher uh, because this is how you block and you don't need to put a lot of water so it can grow also in the situations that you don't have a lot of water so it's a great edge plant especially if you have big garden planting season will be from the spring to the autumn this is will be the best uh, colder the area will be more into the spring uh, tropical can be also in the winter. Uh, if you want to prune it, uh, I wouldn't bother for each leaf that you have, just prune it from the base after it's finished to bloom. Then it's actually finished and there isn't, uh, let's say it's not beautiful anymore, no point to grow it. In the right condition it's a fast growing plant that require uh, water, a uh, small to big amount, doesn't matter what you give, it will grow. Okay, so the light condition, as I said before, it can grow as a house plant. It can grow from full sun to full shade, but uh, blooming in order, if you grow it as a house plant, maybe you should choose something with uh, colorful leaves, because I'm not sure that it always will bloom, and you need to give it some light in order to bloom. But it will grow well. Don't worry about to grow it. Uh, okay, so except this blooming season, it uh, can be from the spring to the autumn. As I said, in variety of color and depend the cultivars that you have and the amount of sun that you have. It depends on where you live. Of course, there is a lot of variety, amount of water and other things. Uh, except this, the major blooming will be in the summer. Uh, so be aware of this. Uh, one thing that I want to indicate here is that the bulb is supposed to be edible. The main problem is that I don't, very, I don't really know that which kind to eat and if it's exactly what do I need to eat so I don't know but if you know something about the edible situation let me know I would like to eat it I just don't know how and what to do and uh, 
information in the internet, I think it's very vague and I wouldn't take the risk without uh, more information about how to eat it and uh, when to harvest, I would say in the autumn, before the blo blooming I would do it even. Uh, but more information, I, I'm sorry that I cannot uh, give you, but maybe you should give me this time. Thank you very much. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website. And of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant. And this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy and come visit us again.